1971, it said that there were 325 million color photographs produced in the UK. How many photographs do you think are produced on a daily basis now? Because we have such easy access to phones. I mean, many of us have a phone at our, at our fingertips at all times and can make an image and distribute it so quickly, as you know. And photography is considered one of the most democratic art forms. Everyone and everything could be photographed with the invention of photography. And uh, photographs give significance and sta status to subjects. They also give individual views of our, of our world. By studying photographs from the history of photography, I hope to give you a context about photography that helps us to understand the function and meaning of photographs in our life today. Because of the promi prominence of science at the time that photography was invented in the 1830s, people and society were really ready for photography. There was a desire to see reality, to see plants and animals and places, but also in terms of art. Um, art used to be only accessible to the upper classes. And during the time of the invention of photography, the middle class was really ready to start to appreciate uh, um, art. And um, the because of the less uh, being less educated about the history of photography, and the artistic movements, people really um, wanted to have an immediately comprehensible image. And that's really what photography provided for people. What is a photograph? We are inundated with photographs, but do we really understand a lot about them? Do we question them because they're so integral in, in our lives? Uh, there's a technical aspect to photography. There's a dependence on light and time, as you can see in these images. And also, photographs seek to order and construct, uh, construct the world around us so that we understand things. We use photography to try to categorize and understand things better. So there's this dual existence of, of uh, photography between the science, time and light, and nature categorization of our world. So basic to its modes of representation, uh, photography fixes time and establishes a hold on the past, a hold on the moment, a moment in time. In less than 60 years, the camera has gone from being a privileged domain of the early practitioners and inventors of photography to being the most accessible means of visual representation today. So a photograph um, there are distinctions often made between an amateur and a professional photographer, between art and the mass production of photographs, such as the invention of the halftone press in the 1890s that allowed photographs to be mass produced and distributed. Professional photographers really dominated um, the history of photography, but as of recently, um, a, a cultural history of the snapshot photograph has also become significant, and rightly so. And I'll um, put a link in the, the lecture um, in our classroom so that you can see a little bit. Um, there's a film about the history of the snapshot photography, and it's, it's very significant uh, contribution to photographic history. So in the 19th century, a photograph, these are lots of different techniques that were um, from the invention of photography up through the um, end of the 19th century. There were daguerreotypes, heliotypes, calotypes, albumin prints, gelatin silver prints, which are the black and white photographs made in the darkroom still today, photogravures that are much like a printmaking technique, and then uh, photo photogenic drawings known as photograms like this image here. And then in the 20th century, there are inventions such as the Polaroid, the color photograph, uh, the scanner, digital print, and dim digital images. And as you can see in these last slides, a photograph can be black and white, it can be color, it can be small, it can be large, it can be printed on various surfaces and displayed in galleries, displayed as a, um, in your wallet, uh, displayed in a locket, uh, shown on the internet. So all of these aspects that we don't even consider are so important to understanding uh, the role of photography 
and how it contributes to our life and its importance in everyday culture. So welcome to the class. I'm looking forward to get started.